I don't care who you are. Life's going to punch you in the face. Sometimes life will take you to your knees. Sometimes you have to cry. Sometimes will hurt deep inside. In time of adversity, you don't have an obstacle to deal with. You have a choice to make. You can suffer or you can choose to do whatever you need to do to liberate yourself, whatever you need to do to reinvent yourself, whatever you need to do to overcome whatever you are stuck in right now. It does not have to be your residency. You keep standing. No matter how rough the sea, you keep standing. No matter what, you don't give up. You keep standing, no matter what. You gotta be bold in life, ladies and gentlemen. If you're not bold, if you're not standing up inside yourself, if you're not willing to call into being the highest and the strongest that's within you when you're facing life's challenges, life will trample you. But see, when you discover the truth of this goodness, this power that you have within you, that truth will set you free from ever being a victim in life. That truth will enable you to handle things with a level of equanimity that will surprise you. Getting unstuck means that you are going to start living life on your terms rather than just gliding through every day on automatic. That you have a special power within. That you know that things are going to get better for you. You know that you can handle this. And because you want some different kind of results in your life, you've got to decide that I'm going to go all out. We decide which moments define us. Will it be the moment we get knocked down? Or will it be the moment when we get back up? This is when we show the world what we're made of. Listen to me, you can't give up. If it was easy, everybody would do it. But if life's got you down, I need you to get up and prove them wrong. We're all being tested in life. Some of us made a damn it. Others find a way around the motherfucker. Families and everyone. It's about keeping the motivation to keep moving forward on the same exact path that you just failed. People who operate in darkness, they are relentless. They never stop. And we have to make it our full-time job to fight back. You got to put your foot down. You got to get an attitude. You got to get fired up. You got to get up, look at the man in the mirror and go, this is what I'm doing today, whether they like it or not. I don't give a fuck. Everybody's focusing on the stupidity things that they got on the news. Don't watch the news no more. I give you the real news. You know what the news is about today? You and how you're going to conquer the world. And don't be disturbed because no one else can see it. That's not unusual. You've got to learn how to tune out the critics outside and the critic inside. You need to change on how you look at those people, what they say to you. You got to start armoring your mind. Start preparing yourself for what's out here in life. Build confidence. Build self-esteem. So if people talk to you, it doesn't fucking matter. That's great power in adversity. If you're a victim of any kind, Make sure you use that shit to become successful. It's about going that extra step in the front of the can. That's what builds self-respect, self-esteem, self-discipline, all those things. Learn to not let life hijack your brain. Don't allow all these things to make you a lesser person. You must own your mind. Don't let life own yours. Everybody has a defining moment. Whatever your defining moment is, own it. And say to yourself, after today, I will do whatever it takes to become everything I can become. Raise the bar on yourself, challenge yourself. Expect things to be great for you because you're gonna show up differently. Fight like a warrior and die a legend.